Every shift you get into the playoffs, every shift you say, could determine the outcome of the game, which could de determine the outcome of your season. So you've got to pay much more attention to details. You've got to pay much more attention to your shift to shift. Uh, it's not like, okay, I have a bad game tonight. I can get it back next game. You can't have bad games now. A little bit of both. I mean, you worked the whole year to, to get to this point, and now you're in, and now anything, everything is possible. So it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's an exciting time, I guess, yeah. in our group we've believed in it all year and um, I think we're um, firing on all cylinders and, and ready to go. Hi I'm Sarah Oleski joined by Jamie Thomas. I think regardless of whether or not you're a veteran or you are new to the NHL playoffs emotions are going to be a storyline. I think just getting to our game as fast as we can. Um, you know, not letting them come at us, but us coming at them, so. I mean, it, was, it was tight. It was a real tight race coming down the stretch. and you know, We played a lot of meaningful games, and so you know, I, I think that'll have us ready for, for game one. We know that it should be a fantastic atmosphere. Yes. We've heard the stories about all the Jets fans that are making their way or have made their way down to Vegas as well. Cannot wait for this one to get going tonight. Ah! And while they might not be the favorites in this series, they can quickly change that with a game one victory tonight in Nevada. It's the Jets and Vegas Golden Knights, game one. You gotta skate in the face. Yeah, and he is hurt badly, obviously. Hopefully he's okay. Mason, thanks a lot for taking the time, and how about that period for your team to open up? Yeah, I think uh, with this environment they got going here, that's uh, that's the best we could have done in the first five. And from there, we kind of built into our game. And my Dubois, move right in, shoot, score! And he puts it into the yawning cage, and it's 4-1 Winnipeg here in game number one. Yes, uh, that's what they get hockey at a chance right there. Morgan Barrett coming back from that oh, injury. Yeah. Great teamwork. It's actually not bad. It, uh, they did a great job stitching me up, and obviously it missed my eye, so I um, was glad it didn't get me in a really bad spot, but they did a great job fixing me up. To sit on the table, get stitched up, and come back, I think you know, it speaks volumes to his heart. Shout out to Morgan Barron, who, <laughs> what did he take, 75, 75 stitches last night and came back to the game? Wow. The legend of Morgan Barron was born last night. You know, some guys have told me it looks better than I expected, and some guys look at me like I'm a science project, so I've kind of gotten both ends of the spectrum. And you don't even hesitate to get back on the ice, and you don't even hesitate to go out there and run over somebody, which you did in the corner on the first shift, man. That, that, that's all in. The Jets have a chance to take a commanding 2-0 lead in Vegas tonight. I think uh, they're going to come out a lot more intense, you know, as, as what uh, you've seen and what they've talked about. But uh, I think we have no problem matching their intensity. And in game one against Vegas, we got to see that game plan. It was the top players that did it, shift in and shift out. And I think that's the thing that's the most encouraging for the Jets coming out of game one, is knowing that when you play at the top of your potential, you play it the, the, the best way that you can. Winnipeg Jets hockey that we saw this year under Rick Bonus, they are in the driver's seat. Last game was one of our best games, controlling the puck at both blue lines and through the neutral zone. We took what they, did, they gave us. We're going to do the same thing tonight. There's nothing there, it's in, and we're going to get that four check home. Ah! Come on, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Bob. You're a passer. Oh, I'm a dish. And the puck is dropped, and it's showtime for Las Vegas, Nevada. Let's go Got two quickies in the third. 5 2 Vegas. We're all tied at one, heading to Winnipeg. Giving up the goals that we gave up, the way we gave them up, that's disappointing. But we'll fix it and we'll get ready for Saturday. Okay, let's get to the ice now. And starting with the Winnipeg Jets, they get the split in Vegas, but then they go home 
to one of the best atmospheres in sports, the whiteout. How about that atmosphere? Oh, let's go! I think that is such an important part of uh, what it means to play here and when it comes to playoff hockey, why it's, it's, it's revered around the league as somewhere that's it's nuts and that's what we want. I, I want that. You want it to be crazy. You want it to, I want it to be pandemonium outside. It's awesome. That's what we play for. This is, uh, this is why you play 82. During this best of seven series between the Winnipeg Jets and the Vegas Golden Knights, there likely wasn't many involved that felt a winner was going to be determined quickly. No, the feeling was that this could be a lengthy series, and after the two teams split the first two games in Nevada earlier this week, it's now shaping up that way. It's the Jets and Vegas Golden Knights, game three, and it's coming up next. You're... to overtime like that you know bounces happen and uh you know unfortunately it went their way but i think you know we've got a lot of belief in this group i think you know there, there's not any quit and you know we believe that you know we'll be able to, to come back strong and you know play well in game four and give ourselves a, a great chance to win that game so game three was obviously crushing because the Jets lost in double overtime, but they also lost Josh Morrissey. How crushing of a loss is this? We got a late text from him last night. He's pretty bummed. You know, there's a guy with a lot of pride who's he knows the importance of his presence in on the ice and in the room. Yeah, so we want Josh around and we know the other guys are going to pick up the slack here. You know, obviously a, a great comeback, and um, you know we got to leave that one behind us and, and be ready for this game. You know, we know, we know it's going to be another tough test. Let's go! All right, on the back end, we got Nate Schmidt, partner Dylan Tamello. up short and the Vegas Golden Knights have won three straight in this series with the series shifting again to Vegas. I mean like I said all year we've had injuries. We were first in the West we had a bunch of guys injured 
um, you know, anything's possible. And we can't be thinking about, you know, getting three wins or two or three more wins here. We got to just think about the next game and, and how we can get that next win. You mentioned the injuries. They already lost Josh Morrissey. Now they're going to be playing without Mark Shifley. I wanted to be out there and help the team and I haven't been able to do that so you know obviously if I were to be playing tomorrow I'd uh, I'd be all in. The Jets looking to avoid elimination on the road as they take on the Golden Knights in Game 5. Nikolai Ehlers, who last played on April 11th, took part in the morning skate. He'll be a game-time decision. As for Mark Scheifele, he remains out. Everyone's going to have to step up. Everyone's going to have to do more than what they thought possible if they want to find a way back into the series. Like I said, obviously it's not the position anybody would want to be in, but it's just it's the same mentality we have to have. It's just one game at a time. Um, you know, we, we win this game, it changes, you know, it changes uh, everything. So it, for us, it's just one game at a time. You know, along the way to earning a spot in these Stanley Cup playoffs, the Winnipeg Jets had to win a few important games, but none were a do-or-die scenario until tonight, where the Jets face postseason elimination if they don't win this contest against the Vegas Golden Knights. Again, darting after Nikolai Ehlers, causing some chaos. Wheeler will take the draw. Good luck to Brossois. Back toward the net. They score! The Vegas Golden Knights have eliminated the Winnipeg Jets in five games with a final score here in game five by 4-1. to one. Really too big of an ask for the Jets to win this series without Josh Morrissey and Mark Shifley.